All right, bro, so I wanna tell you a really quick story. Um, and this is gonna be a vlog style content, man. So if you don't vibe with that, that's cool, bro. I'll see you in the next one. But I think this story is going to help reframe your idea of what is possible. That's what I hope, because it's the lesson that I learned today. So basically, I went out to work. I work 10 hours a day in a sales job right now. Um, I went to work, got to the field, and I realized, oh shit, start pushing the button on my Honda. My car won't start. Fuck, man. Oh, this is gonna put my day back because I have to look, go get it changed and I have to go fix my car. I hope it's not gonna be like a terrible, awful um, fix. And I tow it to the repair shop. I get in there, pay 700 schmackaroonies, which is a lot for me, right? That's, at this point, after moving to Nashville for two weeks, I've had really bad car luck. So I've paid more than half of the money that I saved up to move to Nashville in fixing my car. <laughs> it's not even my car, it's my mom's car that I'm borrowing, bro. <laughs> but, but I'm still gonna pay for, pay for it because she's being very kind of letting me borrow it. So I get there and I'm like, shit, this sucks. Damn, that is ass. But you know what, I'm still gonna make the most of the day. So I go out to my field, I start pitching people, and then I'm like, wow. Oh shit, where am I? Also, why am I just ungodly hot right now? Holy fuck. And I realize I have a fucking fever, bro. I have a fever right now. I'm outside doing my job and I can't leave yet, right? The kind of job I have, you can't just um, leave and stop pitching people. And so I try and pitch people at a distance. I make the best of it, but my whole body's feeling sore, right? And I'm like, excuse me, ma'am, excuse me. Ooh. <laughs> Basically, I just embarrassed myself over and over and over again today when I was pitching really poorly, right? People were like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? I'm going to steer clear. And so uh, I did not raise a lot of money today, which sucks. But the point of the story is shit fucking slaps you back to back to back to back. Right, bro? You're going to have days like this where it feels like the universe will just not let up on you. But what you have to do in this kind of situation what I'm learning from this book called The Art of Possibility by Benjamin and Rosalind Zander is that the best way you can go about life when you face tough situations isn't by just powering through, right? Which I thought for a long time. Or it's not just by giving up, right? Because I thought that for a long time too. That was my first, my first way of thinking was to give up, let the day happen, and then just start tomorrow. My second was I'm going to power through. But this third way of thinking that I found, the third path, is to accept the, the hand that you've been dealt. Look as logically as you possibly can at the circumstance, right? It's not good or bad because there's no such thing as good or bad things. It's all labels that you put on shit as a human being. And that's natural and that's okay, right? Of course, because we grew up doing that, because we grew up and we said, what's that? Someone said, a clock, what's that? That's literally how kids learn, right? They ask, what's that? And we assign a label to it. It's helpful for human society. But what happens is you start to label the things that aren't physical. You start to label things that just are. And this is a huge like part of spiritual teaching is that nothing is good or bad necessarily. They just are. Of course, you don't want some things to happen. You do want other things to happen. But it's just how it is. And this can be really hard to accept at first. But once you do, bro, you can start to find a way to take this next step, part two of the third path, which is where do I go from here? It's going to give me the best thing that I want, right? Yes, I feel like shit. Yes, my car just cost me so much money, bro. How do I go from here? And I'll, I'll be honest, bro, I was really shit at this today. I was really bad at it. I just, I was so down and like my body hurt and I was like kind of half-assing talking to people. I was like, hey man, how, how are you? And uh, it was really embarrassing because over and over again, I just get people who <laughs> ignore me going into the planet fitness. But <laughs> yeah, I made a damn fool of myself today, but that's okay, right? That's all right. That's me labeling it again. <laughs> damn. <laughs> See, I catch myself doing this shit too. But this goes further, right? We like to talk about psychological shit on this channel sometimes. We like to get deep. So that's what I'm about to do with you. When you learn to label shit like that as a kid, this carried over to other parts too about yourself, specifically your self identity. And I talk about this a lot. I talk about the other side of the rubber band. Yeah. So whenever you're pulling this rubber band, trying to make progress in the gym, trying to make progress and talking to people, right? You keep making progress and it snaps back and it snaps back and it snaps back. But if you move self image, 
If you move the way that you think about yourself, it gets easier. There's not as much tension between your new self and your old self. A way that you can move that rubber band faster other than visualizations and all the shit that I've talked about in other videos is to stop putting labels on your past specifically. Because we love to do this. We love to not only say, I am this way, I'm aggressive. I am not social. I am, I just hate people. And then not only do we do that, we don't stop there, we assign a reason why. And this is what makes it fucking stick, bro. It's because you say, I am aggressive because my father mistreated me. I am not social because I didn't have a strong father figure growing up, right? I am not making the friend groups I want because this friend group really burned me when I was a kid. Yada, 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 right? And these shits, these, <laughs> these shits, this shit seems really important to us and it's, we hold on to it because we have a reason why we're the way that we are. But human beings are adaptable, bro. They're incredibly malleable. That's why we have existed on this planet and fucking dominated for so long because our thought, our brain can literally adapt to any new situation. So, whenever you are thinking and you assign yourself and you say, the, this friend group really hurt me, so I just don't make friends like that anymore. You're giving so much power to that friend group, bro. What if you just said, I am just Luke. I am just Peyton, right? Insert your name here. You are just are how you are. And you can take steps at this point to start changing how you are. Because now you don't have that reason holding you back, pinning you down. And this is going to be easier said than done, dude, which a lot of the psychological shit I say in these videos are. I try and make that abundantly clear. It's not going to happen overnight, bro. But I'm telling you this so you can start thinking about it. It's going to jangle in the back of your mind. Every time something comes up and you think, I'm just this way because of this, you're going to stop yourself and say, what's that thing that Luke said? Maybe you're going to write it down on a piece of paper and tape it to your wall, bro. <laughs> I love that shit. My wall is covered in post-it notes. But I hope that you're able to stop and see what is really possible when you stop labeling yourself and you stop labeling the situations that you're in. Because labels can be fucking dangerous if you buy into them. Act now, brother. Let's stop.